Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I make videos about all things spirituality, energy, holistic healing, veganism, all that fun stuff. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can cleanse your space and how you can cleanse your aura without any smoke. Recently I was talking to a girl who was in her first year of university. She was asking me how she can cleanse her dorm room because she can't light any fires or candles or burn any incense or any herbs or anything and I thought there's probably a lot of people who aren't able to do that or people who are very sensitive to smoke as well as people who want alternatives to sage and palo santo because it's endangered and because of the cultural history behind it. Let's get right into it. One of my favorite ways to actually cleanse my space and my aura is to use sound. Different frequencies and sound vibrations break up stagnant energy, clear it out, and charge your space with new energy. I really like to use Vedic chants, Gregorian chants, mantras, and sound healing frequencies, and I'm going to list all of my favorite ones down below. There are also different types of bells that you can use to clean your space. Bells are really good at breaking up stagnant energy, and you can just go around in all of the corners of your room to help cleanse out the energy. Another great way to cleanse your space is to use essential oils. Lavender is great for cleansing as well as for psychic protection. And some other really great cleansing oils are peppermint, cedarwood, frankincense, lemon, and rosemary. If you don't have a diffuser, you can actually just make a room spray with some water and some essential oils, put it in a little spray bottle and spray it around your room. And you can also put salt in it, which brings me to my next thing. Salt is so cleansing and it's also alkalizing, so it's a great way to clean your personal energy field. If you're blessed enough to live near an ocean, jump in the ocean, swim around. That is always a great way to cleanse, but if you don't have access to that, you can make a nice bath, throw in some salt, throw in some essential oils that I mentioned earlier as well, and that will give your personal aura a nice good clean. If you don't have access to an ocean or to a bath, no worries, you can fill up a big gallon of water, throw a decent amount of salt in there, take it in the shower with you, pour it on yourself from the neck down, imagine all of the bad energy going down the drain. You can also use salt to cleanse your space by putting it in bowls or sprinkling it around in your room, in the corners, in the different places that you kind of want to give a good cleanse. You can leave it there for a couple of hours and it will have absorbed toxins as well as any negative energy that's in the air, and then you can just vacuum it up or toss it out in the garbage. Going outside in nature is a great way to cleanse your personal energy field. Being outside, we're connected to all of the elements and it is very healing for us. Our body transforms energy from nature into healing energy for our auras and it really just helps us supercharge them. When it's warm in Canada, I like to go walk around outside barefoot at least once a day, kind of inhaling all of the good energy and exhaling anything that doesn't serve me. Using crystals that have really cleansing energies like selenite and black tourmaline is a great way to cleanse your aura. Tourmaline is great for transforming and transmuting negative energies. And selenite is great for breaking up and getting rid of all unwanted energy and is really good at restoring it with a positive, harmonious energy. You can carry them around with you in your pocket or place them around areas that you're going to be sitting in that you kind of want to give a good cleanse. You can even add black tourmaline to the water spray that I mentioned earlier to give it an extra kick. Selenite unfortunately doesn't do well in water so I wouldn't recommend putting that one in there. Lastly, everything that you think and everything that you say impacts your personal aura and that then charges your space around you. So using meditation and mantras is a great way to change your personal vibration and to charge your aura. A great mantra or affirmation to use while you are meditating or you're walking around and you're not feeling so good is I release all lower frequencies from my aura. Energy cleansing meditation is to sit and to imagine a cord going all the way down from your root chakra deep into the earth and to imagine a bright white light coming down and cleansing your aura, inhaling fresh clean energy and exhaling anything that doesn't serve you. I always like to finish off these meditations by imagining a gold light just radiating out from me. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can cleanse your space without smoke and some different ideas that you can just incorporate into your cleansing practices in general. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.